Hello once again everybody, welcome back to Satisfactory. So, the first thing that I really want to say is this is not update 6. I'm still on early access, so this is still update 5. Basically it's because I don't want to upgrade yet, because I still have a lot of mods and they're not going to work with a new update until they are all updated. So yes, we are still exactly where uh, we were before. So yes, update 6 has been out for a couple of days now. Um, I've seen some other videos of it, it looks really nice. Um, so I will be updating to that as and when. Um, but first of all, let's have a little look at some changes to the factory. Um, all of this here is as it was uh, when we were last here. Um, apart from the fact that I have extended the platform significantly. Um, because given that that is my ingot production, I'm going to need a lot more room. I'm going to need an awful lot more room. Um, so yes, there's a lot of this. It's gone up to this rocky outcropping. Um, I've even done all the wall all the way around to about here where we go around this little rocky outcropping. We could go over it I suppose. I think our platform is just about high enough. Yeah it is. It's just about high enough but the um, the sorting floor would, uh, would interfere with that. So anyway look we can go around it we can expand again once we get past it so it's not really much of a problem i think we could we could we'll we'll see when we get to there if we need this extra space we'll we'll use it so yeah the uh, this massive platform is has been extended significantly significantly so <clears throat> Over here you'll notice that my power plant has been moved and my storage uh, looks a little bit different. So with the power plant I decided that instead of having it run in that direction and have each extra set of power plants coming out this way, um, I decided that I'd rotate it this way and have extra ones here. As you can see, I've marked them out somewhat. Um, this is all marked out with our um, with my planned water production. See, so we can easily get another another bit of water production down there, and with the <clears throat> uh, with the uh, infrastructure of the pipes will support four of these units. So yes, it's it's pretty much the same inside. It's um it's been a rebuild. But yes, it's it's pretty much the same inside. Uh, we've got this manifold set up. And I've <laughs> yeah, I, I moved these around so it was facing this way so it was all in line. And uh, yeah, running very nicely. So yes, this is the the basic design that's going to get um, going to get used for each more uh, each extra power plant that we pop here. Now the main reason for doing that was to uh, make sure that this far end here is always going to be here. So if we were expanding in this direction, I'd have to keep all of this empty in order to allow for expansion. But if we're going that way, well, I'm expanding that way. I, I can start building factories here. So when it comes to the storage facility, um, I've decided to create a separate one over here for the um, for the space elevator parts. So they're all down here. I've got a, an extra floor up there because I counted and there are nine Oh, that, yeah, it's... <laughs> I was thinking, how do I get in? I get in from this side. 
So yeah, there are nine space elevator parts currently in the game. There may be more later. Who knows? But certainly not in update six. Uh, let's see, you got four here. Now that pattern continues in here. So I've I've set a far end limit there. So they're all here. The ones on the next floor are going to be staggered. So they're going to come through here. So they're all going to be on like that. So I can just add more floors as and when. I've got a bit more room either side for belt work. Yeah, there's a little bit more room out there. There's a there's a double double side, uh, not double sided, double space walkway there, so I can run another set of uh, elevators out the uh, outside. Oh dear me, I don't know where my uh, vocabulary is today. So my basic plan is I can probably get about six floors because you've got one in there and then your second floor comes up in the middle there. So third floor is going to come up about there. Fourth floor is going to be there. Fifth floor and uh, sixth floor. They're going to come up like that. So um, yeah. I'm I'm planning for the future here. I'm I'm really trying to do this right from the start. So over here with our steel production, you can see that I have now fitted out the other two floors and finished off this building entirely. So we now have three Mark IV belts that are almost saturated. Not quite, not quite. I reckon I could fit four floors onto three belts. It's that kind of ratio. So I quite like to see that running actually. So we'll just turn these on. Just turn those on and then turn this on. Don't know how much we've got in storage. I've got all the coal here. Of course we do. Of course we've got coal here. We need the coal running for the power plants. So yes, we just gotta wait for the, the ingots, ingots to come through. But anyway, the main aim of this episode is to get our concrete up and running. Because I still haven't done that yet. Oh yes, um, this one is finished. Our copper ingot facility is finished. All the floors all fitted out very nicely. So, let's say, how do we build one of these from scratch? Well, first things first, um, we're going to be using constructors for this rather than furnaces. Now, constructors, thankfully, use the same... Uh, space and the same basic layout as the furnaces. They're just a bit wider. So over here we're going to have our input shaft and then we're going to have four going that way. So if I get my um, uh, what do I want? Oh, yeah, materials, the grip metal foundation. So we're going to be basically that size and that way as far as we know. So what we need to do first is we're going to have about half of... I'm trying to get rid of this now. There we go. So the first half is probably going to be the uh, the balancers like that. So we're going to take our cue from this and see it's just a little bit to the left of the edge of the foundation. So I'm just scrolling through there trying to find the thing I need. I think I removed it, didn't I? Yes, I did. I did something else on that one. No, they, they should all be on that one. That one's all the ones I need. Anyway, uh, I'll just go in here. I won't mess around with the hotkeys. So we need constructors. There we go. And it needs to be, there, there we go, very nice. 
line up like that. Roughly in the middle, doesn't have to be exact, as long as we're consistent. So that's roughly in line with our previous one. And it's roughly in the... No, that, that's exactly in the middle. There, that's perfect. So we'll, we'll pop one down and we'll see what our consumption is for um, concrete. There we go. So that's taking 45 per minute. Okay. Okay, we know this one. So 45 per minute means we can do 10. Our 480 per minute um, belts can supply 10 of these completely. Do we go up one and make sure that we've got enough of them to use all of the things? Well, what have we done over here? Because this one is definitely shorter. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See, that one's ten. This one is ten. Because that also uses 45. We've made this decision before. There we go. 45 per minute. So we've already made this decision. There's a whole lot of caterium in here. Hmm, interesting. Oh yeah, I called this copper before. That one's copper. This one's caterium, yes. <laughs> I mean, I have labelled these, but uh, anyway, so yes, we've made this decision before, we're going with 10. It doesn't really matter if these belts back up a bit, does it? Does it? I don't think so. Uh, anyway, that one's done like that, so we'd be very careful, because if we line these up too quickly, we end up building extra supports. Because I, I, I could do it like that, but we end up putting supports in, you see on this one here. So if we have a look underneath, you'll see uh, supports coming through the, the roof. That's not what we want. We don't want that. It looks wrong. So that's why we are a little bit more careful. You don't really want to snap them. Now, how many have we built? One, two, three, four, five. So that's eight, nine, and ten. So that's our ten. And it looks like this is going to be our front wall. And that's going to be our output shaft. There we go. So we know how big we're making things now, don't we? So what we need to do is get this out again. We'll paint the floor. Once autosave gives me control back. <laughs> you can autosave in the background on other games. And you're only doing one thing at once in this thing. Anyway, enough ranting. So that is our basic size. Obviously, we're going to have to come through and <sighs> come through and set all these up later. So let's get rid of the customizer. Scroll through here. So we're just going to work on the walls for now. So we need to get this and scroll it that way. I can't see how far. Is that far enough? Not quite. Almost. <laughs> Almost, there we go. So that's there. Scroll that that way, that's there. Leave one space for the door. There we go. Put a one of those there, one of those there. Switch back to that and just finish off around there. And then the same at this end. I hate it when that happens. <laughs> I really do. Come on. Another one of those there. Two of those. And a whacking great big door. And then it's kind of repetitive going all the way up. And what I tend to do is when I'm really building things quickly, I just tend to put 
these walls all the way across and then come along and put these in later. But what we're doing is we'll just build the one floor for now. Just so we get the idea. So, up there. Up there. I've got no idea where that went. I'll have to find that later. And up. Around here. Make sure I can see the other end. The HUD can get in the way sometimes. And one more, and up. So what I'm going to do when it comes to this is I'm only going to do the front, that front wall. I'll leave this this high. I mean, you, you'll see what I mean. You'll see what I mean. I'll do the first floor for, um, completely, and then I'll just do the front. Oh, where's my... there we go. <laughs> I really should disable that while I'm playing games. It does, does get in the way sometimes. Oh, I can't see the other end. Right, there we go, there we go. And nip that all the way across. I really ought to make a note of uh, how far they need to go. Come on. No, not there. Not there. There. I can only just about see the other end. There. Right. Ah, dearie me. So, yes. What I'm going to do at this end is I'm going to do the full wall at this end. As you can see, this is what I normally do. I normally just build the thing and have done with it. So, switch back to windows, four across, two up. Fill them in. Go up a level, switch back to the walls. Yeah, so doing all of this can be a little bit on the tedious side. Which is why I'm only doing this front wall. On camera anyway, I'll obviously have to finish it off camera. But... Uh, auto save again. It auto saves every five minutes. And it's amazing how quickly those five minutes go. It really is. It's, I've been at this for about 20 minutes now. <laughs> oh, wow. All I've done is give you a quick update on the factory and start building this. Jeez. So, that's... Should have done that one first. There we go. Good. That's four floors. Only got one more to do. Ah, oh, dearie me. It's a lovely, relaxing game. But there's always something to do. Lovely. And the final layer, which we can just make one high. Now, I've gone a bit overboard with my input shaft. As you can see over there, we don't need to bring it up any higher than this. <laughs> I 
that's what happens when you're building on autopilot. So, yeah, that's right. So let's get rid of those. Here's the roof for that. Swing that round. Swing that round. There we go. Now what we can do is start putting in our little doors. It really does start getting a bit ridiculous. And this is all just for concrete. I mean, I've got a lot of concrete. That's no problem at all. I've got a whole container full of concrete. That'll last me for ages. Uh, but this is mainly for the encased beam. It's not really for construction. Because, as I said, I use mods, so I don't really need to produce materials just to build stuff. I produce materials to go into machines to produce other items to eventually produce the space elevator parts and stuff to unlock things. So, here we are. Uh, we'll, what we'll do is we'll just get the first bit of the floor in for the second, second floor. And there. I'll just put that there because we're going to build our little catwalk. Or as some people have said, fire escape. <laughs> yes, yes, it is a bit of a fire escape. So we need the T crossing there. We'll have an empty bit there. And I'll just put one section of stairs in just to, uh, uh, just to keep a bit of space. So what we want now is we want the corner. We want another one of those uh, T-crossing pieces there. Then we have two bits of stairs. We have two corner pieces down here. Now the reason we use corner pieces rather than a uh, one of those is because the floor texture looks right and because we're up against a window, so it's nice to be able to see the uh, the handrail. Because the stairs have a handrail on both sides. You don't need a handrail when you're up against a wall or a uh, or a window, but uh, that's it. So yeah, that's that basic design of catwalk, and that's been another five minutes. <laughs> so yeah, that's the basic catwalk design. It's uh, pretty easy to knock it out. So let's go and do one the other side. Just so that we complete the the first floor. So there we have the crossing. We go through to the corner. We need a T-crossing. We'll have the stairs that way, stairs that way, stairs that way. Let's build the stairs up from down here this time. One set of stairs, another set of stairs. And then we have two corners. Wrong button. <laughs> right, so that is that bit. Now what we need to start doing is figure out power. So if we have a look at this next door, you can see there's a little power thing on the joint there, a sign and a switch. Over here, exactly the same. So we'll continue the theme. So we need your double pole thing. That one, there we go. I haven't got the switch on my hotbar. Oh well, never mind. It's in here. It's relatively easy to find. That. Come on. Where's my sign? There it is. So we don't need that layout. All we need is that one. 
go back there. Now what are we making here? This is concrete. Lovely. So we just hook up that. Now I've got a I've got a hole in the floor there, but I need one here really. Um Right, we can tap in down there, that's fine. So that's linked there, so we need to link this one to there, so it's right on the edge. It's a little bit in. It's right on the edge. Obviously not there. So it's about there. There we go. Directly below. Lovely. And that's where our rogue window went. Nice. So come on. Hook on to that. And there we go. We've got power to our factory. What we've got to do now is put our floor back. I could have just sampled it. <laughs> oh, we were going to remove our thingy, weren't we? Never mind. We can use our access port. It's fine. We need to be down here anyway. So we will build our... <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> My voice isn't very well today. Uh, yeah, that's right. So we need three holes for that one. Three holes for that one. We'll finish that one from the other side. Come on. Out of the way. There we go. So, yes, what we need to do is we need to build our balancer down here. Just like all the others. So, in line like that. That should be in line there. Right? Yes. There it is. Lovely. So, remember, hold it up against it so that the blueprint turns white. Because put it like that, it stays separate. I've had that mess me up quite a few times before. So put the Mark IV belts in. Right, and then root them straight this way. Click that there. Lovely. Lovely. Look at that up there. Let's get them connected. I really want to do the. Um, what word am I looking for now? The lifts. I really want to do the lifts first, but um, I haven't got them in yet. Oh, right, yes, this is where things get a little bit complicated. So back one, back another one, and there you go. That's that connected. Now, as you can see, it's exactly the same as these. Every single one. I didn't plan it out like that, actually. <laughs> it just worked out that the spacing is absolutely perfect. What am I doing? I don't want that there. It'll work, don't get me wrong, but I'd rather go up and then turn before I place my uh, my thing down. So I scroll around that way. Let's see, where did I put it last time? I think... pretty sure I was there on my others. So I can just come there and just do that. Yes, there we go. Perfect. Scroll that one that way. Pop that one in there. Over here. You know, wouldn't it be great if there was a tool for doing parallel belts more easily? That would be pretty good, I think. Would certainly take this bit of repetitiveness out of <laughs> out of the game. Uh, but I suppose you get complete control over uh, what things are doing by doing it this way. Oh, back. There we go. And like that. And then around the corner like that. Lovely. 
Lovely. Right, so we're down, down here. We're done. Up we go. Now, you see, we need to punch a hole in this so we can access things. Ah, right, so basically, what we want. Ah, you know what? Every other one of these has a, a triple. And I only put singles in. Well, we can change that right now. There we go. I'll have to do it for all the others. I'll have to do it for all of them. But I can do that later. That's fine. That's fine. So what happens is the one nearest us... There we go. See, the one nearest us is the short one. So, I uh, only yeah, need to scroll. There we go. Eight is our mark... F is it... Oops, excuse me. It's our mark four lift, there we go, that's all job done nicely crouch, there we go um, I should work on the output I'll work on the output shaft now scroll that way, get number 4 whack it to 3 now it's exactly the same, you start from this one and you go down so we need a three down here. Three that side. Put the walls in. No, not there. There we go. So come out of that, scroll back. Eight. Click on that. Go down there. There we go. And then yes, downstairs we shall sort things out. But that's for a little bit later. Now what we need to do is we need to build our balancers once again, but this time we come a little bit closer to the edge. See, this time we're not in the middle, we're over here. So we need to make sure this is hooked up to the lift. So we do that first, and then we can start putting these in. So we put four in, another four in, and then because we're only doing 10 this time, two on the top. Lovely. So we'll finish the power in a minute. What we're doing, now we switch to Mark 1 belts. What I like to do is I like to start at the far end. I like to start at the far end. I'm not entirely sure exactly why, but I do. So we come out in line with that. So that's that's in the first quarter of this foundation. This one here comes out to the middle of the first foundation. And then we just turn around like this. There, and then up two clicks. Lovely. There, and then up two clicks. But you'll notice that that's not quite in line. Just a little scroll on the scroll wheel lines it up nicely. So that's your top level, because we're only working with the two. This is exactly the same for this one. You start in the middle, you then go that first quarter. That's in line with the edge of the foundation. This one, you rotate and then move up two clicks like that. All the other conveyor belts you then bring up to be in line with this first one. And that's your second row of four. Ah, we just need to start adding some verticality to these things. So we put some of these stackable conveyor poles in. Bring those in. Like that. Lovely. So... Yeah, we're still on three, that's lovely, so remember. Middle of that foundation. The first quarter. To the edge. And then this one, because it's right next to it, can just go straight in. Just like all the others for the first level. And 
and these can now just go straight in see the thing is once you come up with the design it's fairly easy and fairly quick to replicate I mean okay yes we're at 40 minutes in now but the belting didn't take long did it it seems insanely complicated and it would be if we were using regular splitters Oh dear me, I don't know how I'd cope with... I had to do all of this with regular splitters. It would take forever. And yeah, it's pretty much the same thing on this side now. Except the belts go in a different direction. But what I want to do... Is I just want to start up the limestone mines. So that we start getting our things in. I'll turn the power on there for when we actually uh, hook everything up. But in order to do that, we need something to hook our power lines on, so we need to put the roof in. Uh, I don't know exactly... Oh, there we go. It's nine. So, across four, there we go. That's that. So we go down, and we should start seeing our stuff come in any minute now. We should do, anyway. <laughs> Have a little look. There it is. And because of various things with those modular load balancers, it only takes it from the one. It doesn't really matter. Yes, it does mean that all of this is now coming in. So, first thing we need to do is make sure that all the recipes are set. So, just a quick copy. This is apparently a hell of a lot easier. Ah, it's not really much point copying it, because it goes straight to that, doesn't it? Anyway, it this is going to be a lot easier in update 6, as I've seen. But hey, we're not playing update 6, this is update 5, we've still got to do things the hard way. Now you see, I don't know why. This thing, yes, it doesn't have power, right? doesn't have power, but why doesn't it start stacking up the limestone? It doesn't have power, absolutely, yeah, fine, but you can get ready, right? So, concrete. So, yeah, all these packs, they're from a packing mod I have, and it's very nice. Um, it's more of a late game thing, though, where you have an awful lot of stuff that you need to produce at once but your belts just can't handle it uh, right yes that's all done so all we need to do now is hook up the power there we go so what I do is go up here and then obviously I come across into the middle of each one so with the foundries, I kind of got used to where on the, the foundations to put them. But with this one, it's just there. So it's just to the left of the middle. So with these, it's... Oh, it's also just... Ah, it's at the same place. Are we looking at... Yes, yes we are. Are these, are these just one foundation wide? They are, aren't they? Oh, no, that's handy. Okay, so you just come across two and stick it in exactly the same place each time. That makes things easier. I want to click over from the middle. There we go. And just the one more. There we go. So, click click, click not down there Ugh. there, I'll get rid of that in a minute <laughs> I missed the machine, how could I miss the machine, you can aim anywhere on the machine So you can see why it took me a, a day of playing to build the first one of these. Because you have to 
do an awful lot of figuring out the first time you build something. Once you've got your design done, relatively easy. I mean, there's still an awful lot of manual clicking work to do. But hey, here we are. All this is now running. Very nice. So it's time that we hooked up our outputs. Now, this won't take very long at all, because it's pretty much exactly what we just did. One there. Make sure the output is hooked up. Make sure they're joined together. There we go. Another layer. And there we go. Switch back to number three. So remember that this one here is all the way. There we go. To the middle. This one here is three to that quarter. It's out a bit to the middle there. Down two. Just scroll the wheel just to get things to line up properly. And there we are. It's only that first one you have to do that. Come on, there we are. There we are. And into the uh, side of that. Side, rotate, and up two clicks. There we go. This is obviously the output two miners. And everything a single Mark IV belt. I was going to say 4K belt. <laughs> a single Mark IV belt can throw at it. I mean, that's how I like building my factories. Each floor handles a single Mark IV belt. So just this last bit now. Over to the middle. To the quarter. To the edge. That one. That one's not right. <laughs> yeah. You see, we're, we're not quite the same distance here. Oh, that's really annoying. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Okay, well there, and then back two clicks, we'll do it that way. There we are. Now, with other ones, I've stopped it about there, and then put in an extra thing. Well, I don't think I need to do that this time, because that's far too close. That is far too close. So that will, of course, eventually get all bunged up. And of course, at the moment, Another auto saves. It's really been another five minutes. Yeah, I'm on that one. That disrupted my thought process, so I forgot which one I was actually dragging out for a moment there. Obviously, all of this was uh, bunged up because of the belts, so it's not. It's outputting stuff at a faster rate than it's producing it because it's still in storage. What we're going to do is we're not going to bother about that first balancer just yet. I'm just going to stick that in there. I'll get rid of a couple more of these. Just so we can start getting things flowing. Just get these things done. Tidy it up in a minute. And there we go. Awful lot of concrete coming out of here now. So, what I'll do is I'll probably cut power. Oh no, there we go. That's starting to come out at the right speed. And what I'll do is I'll cut power and just wait a little bit for the outputs to be exhausted <sighs> because that's the thing about these balances is that they're not entirely balanced they, they definitely prioritize the ones at the bottom 
or the ones you build first, there, there's some internal logic that determines which ones it pulls from, because it's not pulling from these top ones yet. Now it is. I mean, yeah, the the total thing is the same, but it's like, as you saw downstairs, the two miners were working full pelt to supply this, and then all the other miners were off. I mean, it, it kind of works. It means that the two miners that are working are working at full capacity. But anyway, anyway, I'm thinking I'm rambling now. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely rambling. So once this lot comes through here, we can uh, turn the power back on. So there we go, we're producing at our usual rate. I'll start increasing down here. <laughs> oh yeah. That's in the way, so yeah, we just gotta wait for the rest of our supply to reach the balancer. As you can see there's a little bit of clipping again. But I don't really care. It looks alright. I can live with that. <laughs> I don't mind a little bit of clipping. Especially with belts. So come on top floor. Get that pack of concrete over here. on <laughs> oh yeah that's the problem with these belts they're slow so you've got 15 per minute no no that's 15 per minute from each uh, smelter so if you think of the input one as doing 45 you're talking about you're making it a third you need three. So this would need two of these belts to fully extract all the uh, all the resources. So yeah, there's, um, there's still a fair amount coming out. But that's just one floor and it took us well, that's a 50 minute long video now. <laughs> I won't keep you any longer. Um, yeah, there's quite a bit of work still to do. It's quite a bit of work still to do. But yeah, you get the idea. On the top level, it's just a flat bit of roof. With a barrier around the edge. You don't really need to access the roof, but it's, it's just nice. Uh... It's more for the look than anything. Anyway, yeah, that's how I build my factories. It's it's two foundations bigger than this one here, which is a little bit strange. So yeah, it's doesn't really feed my OCD very well, but anyway. So what I need to do next, after I finish building my concrete tower is figure out the best way to split my um, that's deuterium. this is copper it's the best way to split my copper output my iron and my steel output into its various um, its various items but that is for another time thank you so much for watching I'll see you guys on the next video I hope you've enjoyed this. Goodbye.